Welcome to the future of gaming, where we break barriers and open up a world of immersive experiences for everyone. Today, we introduce you to Audio Radar, a transformative technology designed in close collaboration with the deaf and hard of hearing community, bringing surround sound like you've never seen it into reality. Let's dive into the rich features and controls of Audio Radar. Firstly, let's take a look at the command center, the heart of the audio radar. On top of the audio radar command center, starting on the left, we have the program zone. Within the program zone, there are three columns. Starting with the adjust column, you can select which function you would like to customize. There are three functions to choose from. The idle button, which enables customization of your light bars when there is no sound or action in the game. View this as a background color for your lighting setup. The action button which enables customization of the light bar's colors and behaviors as they react to directional sound events within the game. The stream button, which enables customization of different selfie lighting scenarios for streaming or video conferencing. Next, the effect column. This column includes all the attributes that you would like to customize for action, idle and stream modes. This includes the hue or colors, the level or brightness, and finally behaviors. Lastly, we have the zone column, this column enables you to select exactly which zone or specific light bar you would like to customize. This comes in very handy when customizing the perfect lighting scene for your streaming setup. In the bottom left corner of Audio Radar Command Center, you have three buttons, power, Bluetooth, and stream. The power button also doubles as standby. If you would like to disable all LED bars, for example, you are finished gaming or streaming and would like to watch TV, Simply tap the power button to enter standby mode, which turns off all the light bars. To completely power off audio radar, press and hold the power button for a few seconds to turn off audio radar. In the near future, we will be releasing an audio radar mobile application, which will take your audio radar customizations to the next level. This future app will control audio radar through Bluetooth pairing between audio radar and your smartphone. The release date for the application is yet to be determined and the Bluetooth function is currently disabled. This will be enabled in future firmware updates coming soon. Lastly, we have the stream button. When selecting the stream button, this switched audio radar from gaming mode to stream mode. When initiated, audio radar will no longer react to in-game sounds and will only work as a selfie lighting studio, giving you a fully customizable lighting studio at your fingertips for the absolute best lighting possible. Toggling the stream button will take you in and out of stream mode. In the bottom center of Audio Radar Command Center, there are three preset buttons available to store three in-game presets and three streamer presets. When you enter adjust mode, the preset buttons will breathe indicating you can store your settings at any time by pressing and holding the preset button off choice for two seconds. At that time, the preset is then programmed to your latest customization. In the center of Audio Radar Command Center, you have a dual purpose control knob. This knob serves multiple functions. One. When audio radar is in normal operation mode, you can depress the knob to initiate the ability to change the color background of audio radar backlit buttons and LED indicators. This enables you to change to a color that best suits your taste. Two, when audio radar is in normal operation mode, if you turn the dial without depressing it, it will control the volume of the headphone connection located on the front of audio radar. Three, when you are in adjust mode, turning the dial will cycle through the effect and zone options. Lastly, on the far right, we have three level controls. These control sound sensitivity per zone of audio radar. The three zones include front, front left and right channels, side, right side, left side channels, and rear, rear left and rear right channels. Each zone can be adjusted for perfect sensitivity per gaming scenario. Let's say you are playing PUBG and you are atop a cliff in a perfect sniping position covering your teammates. You may want all your levels on max sensitivity so you can hear see any enemy movements around you or in the distance. In another example, let's say you are playing a hectic match in Call of Duty. You may want to dial down audio radar sensitivity on all channels because there is just so much action and sounds happening in the game all around you. Please note, level adjustments are for gaming modes only. On the rear panel of Audio Radar Command Center, we have power, voice in, USB-C, HDMI in, HDMI out, and light bar out. Audio Radar is powered by an included 19 VDC power supply. The voice and connection is a three conductor, 3.5 millimeter connector that connects Audio Radar with your PC microphone jack. This is used to enable using the microphone on your headset with your PC. The USB-C connection is used for future firmware updates that enable direct communication with your PC or gaming console. 
For now, this feature is disabled, but will be enabled with future firmware updates. HDMI in is just that. This accepts the HDMI source from your PC or gaming console. HDMI out connects audio radar to your end display device, computer monitor, or TV. The light bar out connection connects audio radar to your light bars. On the front panel of the Audio Radar Command Center, there is a 3.5mm 4-conductor connection for a standard gaming headset and microphone. Again, volume may be adjusted using the main control knob. Now let's discuss what's in the box. Audio Radar includes the main control center, an external 19-volt DC power supply, six light bars, and various connection cables. Each individual light bar consists of 36 individual RGBW high-performance LEDs, producing maximum light quality. You will notice an extremely smooth light with no dark spots. Each light bar has the ability to produce over 16.2 million colors. Okay, let's play. Let's walk through setting up audio radar for the first time. Included with every audio radar is our quick start guide. Please be sure to review the guide and follow the instructions for optimal setup. First, let's set up the light bars on your TV or monitor. Included are 12 3M sticky tabs. Attach one sticky tab to the end of each light bar as these will be used to attach the light bars to your TV or monitor. Once you are complete putting the tabs on the light bars, let's attach the light bars to the TV or monitor. You will need to attach light bars to the top left and right, sides left and right, and bottom left and right edges of your TV or monitor. First start by placing the light bars leading edge over the face of the monitor. Make sure the light bar is not covering up any buttons on the monitor or TV itself. Now remove the film on the sticky tabs and attach the light bar to the edge. Repeat this process for the remaining light bars. Now let's connect the light bars together in series with the included coiled cables. Facing your monitor, starting with the bottom left light bar, attach the far left side of the bottom left light bar to the bottom left side of the left side light bar. Continue this process connecting all the light bars together going clockwise while facing your monitor. Now using the included six foot straight cord, connect the light bar out of the command center to the lower right connector on the lower left light bar. It is important to connect to the lower left light bar because the light bars will not operate if you connect to the lower right light bar. Now connect the HDMI in on the command center to the HDMI out of your PC or gaming console. Next, connect the HDMI out to your TV or monitor. Now connect the included power supply to your audio radar. Now we're ready to game. Want to upgrade? Let's add a center channel light bar. This is particularly helpful for games like Call of Duty Warzone, where the center channel is used quite often to accurately highlight enemy gunfire and various in-game sounds. Simply attach the center light bar either between the top left and right light bars. Or if there is not enough room between the left and right light bars, simply place the center light bar on top of the left and right light bars, acting as a bridge if you will. Now disconnect the existing coiled cable from the top right light bar and connect it to the left side of the new center channel light bar. Use an additional coiled cable to connect the right side of the center channel light bar with the left side of the top right light bar. Now we need to tell the Audio Radar Command Center that we've added a center channel light bar. Press the power button once to switch the command center to standby mode. Now hold the zone front button for six seconds or until you see a light pattern indicating the center channel is now recognized. If the light pattern is asymmetrical or off balanced, repeat the process until the pattern is symmetrical. If you ever remove the center channel light bar, Repeat this process to change the command center back to six light bars configuration. Okay, we are up and running. Let's customize your gameplay and streaming setup. Let's program your first customized gaming scene. Start by selecting the action button. You will see six light bars flashing. Now select the hue button. Now turn the main knob to the desired solid or gradient color. This will be the color that will indicate directional sound events taking place in the game. Now select the level button. Now turn the main knob to adjust the overall brightness of the LED bars. Now select the behavior button. Now turn the main knob to change in which direction the behavior of the LED lights go. For example, left to right, right to left, or center to out. If you would like to customize an individual light bar, you can select a zone individually. Let's start by selecting the front zone only. If you would like to adjust a single light bar, Select the front zone button again and you will see the left light bar is now customizable. Press the front zone button again and you will see the right light bar is now customizable. You can repeat this process to adjust the idle or background color of the LED bars. This is the color of the light bars. When there is no action or sound happening within the game, this can be adjusted to be a color or it can be turned off. Now that you have customized the light bars, you can save this setting to a preset. You will notice the preset buttons are breathing. Go ahead and press one of the preset buttons for two seconds to save your settings. 
If you do not want to save, you can back out of customizing audio radar by selecting the either the idle or action buttons. For streamers, let's create the perfect selfie lighting scene. Start by selecting the adjust column stream button. Now select hue, rotate the main knob until all the light bars are your desired color. Now select level and adjust the main knob to achieve optimal brightness. Now select and hold a preset button to store your settings. All set. Want to set a mood or just chill? Select the adjust column stream button. Now select the effect column behavior button. Rotate the main knob to cycle through an array of mood setting presets like rainbow, color chase, color cycle, radar, night rider, UV meter, and more. Save your scene by pressing and holding a preset button. What size monitor or TV will audio radar work with? Out of the box, audio radar will work with monitors as small as 24 inches and TVs as large as 65 inches. Audio radar will work with TVs larger than 65, with the purchase of an additional cable designed for extra large TVs. We appreciate your time exploring the innovative world of audio radar with us. This is just the beginning of a more inclusive gaming environment where every player gets to enjoy a full spectrum gaming experience. Keep an eye out for more developments as we continue to evolve, and remember with Audio Radar, you're not just playing the game, you're seeing the sound. Until next time, happy gaming. <laughs>